you can see your teachers have turned into crayons and the reason that is is because today we are going to be reading you the story The Day the Crayons Quit by Oliver Jeffers. So I'm going to introduce who each of your teachers are going to be in the story today. So first up we have Mrs Moore. Good morning everybody. Today I'm going to be playing Red Crayon and he's a bit fed up because he's had lots and lots of work to do. And next we have Miss is Dayset. Hi guys, I'm going to play the Purple Crayon. And next we have Miss McCoach. Good morning, I'm going to be playing a very tired grey crayon. And next we have Mrs Williamson. Good morning, I'm not happy with Duncan and I'm playing the white crayon. And next up we have Miss is Gerard. Hi guys, I'm going to be playing the angry black crayon. And next up we have Miss Gibbons. Hi everyone, I am going to be playing the very happy green crayon. And next we have Mrs White. Hi guys, I'm going to be playing the know-it-all yellow crayon. And next we have myself, Miss Pyatt. I'm going to be playing the pink crayon and I am not impressed with Duncan. Next we have Miss McCoach. I will also be playing a very embarrassed peach crayon. Next, we have Miss Dayset. And I also going to be playing a beige crayon. And next, we have Mrs. Gerard. Hi again. And I'm also going to play the sunny orange crayon. And, that. <laughs> and finally, we have Mrs. Moore. And I've changed my outfit and my hat, so I'm also playing the blue crayon. So we hope you enjoy the book, guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. Shall we open the letters and see what they say? Hey Duncan, it's me, Red Crayon. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long I wear myself out colouring fire engines, apples, strawberries and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to colour all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Crayon. Dear Duncan, all right, listen. I love that I am your favourite crayon for grapes, dragons and wizard's hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous colour goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I am going to completely lose it. Your very neat friend, Purple Crayon. Dear Duncan, I am tired of being called light brown or dark tan because I am neither. I am beige and I am proud. I am also tired of being second place to Mr. Brown Crayon. It is not fair that brown gets all the bear, ponies and puppies. Well, the only things I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky, and wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? Your beige friend. Oh, Duncan, grey crayon here. You're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are grey. But that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after handling one of those things. Such big animals. Baby penguins are grey, you know. And so are very tiny rocks and pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? You're a very oh, tired friend, Grey Crayon.
Dear Duncan, you colour with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same colour as the page you are using me on. White! If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. I'm only used to colour snow or to fill an empty space between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend... Hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things. Things that are coloured in by other colours, all of which think they're brighter than me. It's not fair when you use me to draw a nice beach ball and then fill in the colours of the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, Black Crayon. Dear Duncan, as Green Crayon, I am writing for two reasons. One is to say that I like my work. Loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful Colouring Things Green career. The second reason I write is for my friends Yellow Crayon and Orange Crayon who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the colour of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green. Dear Duncan, Yellow Crayon here. I need you to tell Orange Crayon that I am the colour of the sun. I would tell him, but we're no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the colour of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to colour in the sun in your Happy Farm colouring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I'm shining down brilliantly on a field of yellow corn. Your pal and the true colour of the sun, yellow crayon. Dear Duncan, I see yellow crayon has already spoken to you. The big whiner. Anyway, could you tell Mr Tittle Tattle that he is not the colour of the sun? I would, but we're no longer speaking. We both know that I'm clearly the colour of the sun because on Thursday you used me to colour the sun on both the Monkey Island and the Meet the Zookeeper pages in your Day of the Zoo colouring book. Orange, you glad I'm here? <laughs> your pal and the real colour of the sun, Orange Crayon. Dear Duncan, it's been great being your favourite colour this past year and the year before and the year before that. I have really enjoyed all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby, I can't even see over the railing in the crayon box anymore. I need a break, your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. Okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. It's because you think I'm a girl's colour, isn't it? Speaking of which, please could you tell your little sister I said thank you for using me to colour in her pretty princess colouring book. I think she did a fabulous job of staying inside the lines. Now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to colour the occasional pink dinosaur, monster, cowboy? Goodness knows they could use a splash of colour. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. Oh. Hey Duncan, it's me, Peach Crayon. Why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. How would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help! Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Oh, Duncan just wanted to colour. And of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. When Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him a good work sticker for colouring and a gold star for creativity. The end.